Hey, what's going on everybody? And today I'm going to show you how to use Touch ID using Swift 2 with Xcode. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first thing we're going to do is open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project. And this project will be a single view application, although this really doesn't matter as you're going to be applying it to your own application. Click next, product name. This is just going to be Touch ID. You can of course call this whatever you want. And then click next, and then we can create and head right into my main.storyboard. Now inside of my main.storyboard, the main thing I want is just an authentication button. Basically when I press this, I want it to call something that says I need to authenticate Touch ID until I do something. So let's go ahead, click and drag a button onto our scene. I'm just gonna place it right in the middle. I'm gonna add some constraints, although this really doesn't matter. I'm gonna just give it center horizontally, center vertically just like so. And then now let's go ahead, open up our assistant editor. And with this button, I'm just going to right click or control click and drag from this button over to my view controller.swift. And the connection type, I'm just gonna change this to an action because we want it to do something when we press the button. Now in this, I'm just gonna call the action my BTN action. You can of course call this whatever you want connect. So now we have this action. Now we don't want to specifically put anything in this action at the moment, but let's go ahead and create another function. And this is just going to be called touch ID call. So we're going to call the touch ID in this function. So after that, you add parentheses, open, close, curly brackets. And now we have that function set up. Now, before we actually add anything into this function that we created, we need to first go up here to the top of our view controller.swift and just say import local authentication. Now essentially this houses everything that has to do with touch ID. So we need to go down here to our touch ID call and inside of here this is going to be let auth context. You can of course call this whatever you want but this is what I'm naming it. Let auth context colon la context like so and we're going to make this equal to la context and then open close parentheses now essentially if you hold down option you can read about anything that you want to learn about here so essentially what this is doing it's e it's evaluating your scene and whatnot and making sure that everything fits underneath the policies in which that you can use touch id so now we can go down here and just say var error. Now after this, we need to create an NS error. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to test and see if there's an error with the touch ID so we can proceed forward or just stop what we're doing. So we can say var error colon NS error question mark. Then after that, we need to test things. So we need to say if our auth context dot can evaluate policy la policy dot device owner authentication with biometrics. So essentially we're authenticating with our biometrics or touch ID. And I'm going to make this a little bit easier to see. So I'm going to close off my assistant editor, head over to my view controller dot swift. And then lastly, we just need to go in here and say error, just say ampersand error as we called it right up here. Then right after that, we just say open curly bracket, close curly bracket. So essentially what this if statement is testing right here, it's testing to see whether or not we have touch ID on our device. So now after that, you can put an else statement right now. It's that way we're not doing it later, so it's confusing. So we have the if and the else statement. So if they don't have touch ID, then you can just use a normal uh, way to log in. But either way, we're just gonna be dealing with touch ID today. So inside of this if statement, the first if statement, we need to say auth context dot evaluate policy. So we're going to be evaluating the policy and you should have the one that says LA policy, localized reason and reply. So the policy is going to be LA policy dot device owner authentication with biometrics. Then ro localized reason, you can really do whatever you want with that. I'm just going to put in quotation marks. This will be testing touch ID. So this is something that's done in the background. So it really doesn't matter what you put in there, just as long as you know what you're putting in there. Then after this, we have this reply. So essentially what we're doing here is we're testing, okay, the biometrics worked or your touch ID worked. So we can do this or we can do this other thing that's in there. So we're going to reply either with was successful or was not successful. So the first thing we need to do is just say open curly bracket, close curly bracket. And then right after that curly bracket, you say open close parentheses. And inside of this, we're going to create some variables. So our first variable will be was successful, then just say colon bool like so. So essentially we just created this variable that says it was successful and we're giving it a true or false statement as in bool. Now go comma and we're going to put error colon ns error. This way we can just test if there's any errors going on. 
like so. Then lastly, just put in. So essentially anything that we're going to put after this is going to say, was it successful or not? And what do we want to do if it was successful? So we can put if was successful, then put a curly bracket, close the curly bracket. And then right after that, we can put an else statement like so. So if it was successful, I'm not going to do anything fancy like going over to another scene. I just basically want to test this for you guys as you guys will be doing whatever you want. So if was successful, we're just going to say NS log. We're going to just say yes, as in it was successful. Otherwise, in this else statement, we're just going to put NS log no, as in it wasn't successful. And that's pretty much everything that you need to do to actually use touch ID. Now, this is never going to be called right now because we haven't put it inside of an action. So let's go right here to our button action and just type in touch ID call. So if we were to build and run this right now, I'll show you exactly what's going on. So as you can see, it loads up with this button. So as I click this button, this is going to call my touch ID. So in this, I'm just gonna put my finger on here. This one is not tested, so I'll show you what happens when you don't get it right. So as you can see right now on the scene, you, there's NS logs of no, meaning that that was not successful. We used the wrong finger or something. So now it actually automatically gives you this try again option. So you can try again, this one actually does work. So I'm just gonna put that right on there. And there you go. So as you can see on the scene right here, it says yes. So pretty much anything that we put inside of this if statement saying it was successful or this else statement saying it wasn't successful, it's going to run accordingly. So if it wasn't successful, then we want to do something else. If it was successful, we can head over to another scene, we can continue our game, we can buy something in an in-app purchase, whatever you want. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Anyway, I will see you in the next one.